Hey guys, ECRG here, and today we're going to be talking about three tips to being a great line manager. Hey guys, ECRG here, and today we're going to be talking about three tips you can implement to be a great line manager. Now we know that a lot of line managers are not created equal. There are some that are really, really good, and there's some that are really, really bad. And that can have a profound effect on your guys' both career. Out of everyone that they touch, this can have a profound effect. So if you have a really good line manager, you can get promoted, you can learn what you need to know to get to the next level. But if you have a really bad line manager, they can really stagnate your growth and make you worse than you already are, and it can just be a bad fit. It can totally change how you feel about the company, your place of employment, and how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. So these are very important. So with all that said, the first tip is as a line manager, you need to teach your direct reports. Now, a lot of you guys may already be doing this, but you need to teach what is necessary for them to be good at their job and move on to the next level. This is something that my line manager is really good at. Every time we have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, which is usually every other week or so, she brings a topic that she wants to teach me about that's pertinent for her job since she's one level above me that we go over in detail we normally have about an hour with each other that we go over in detail so that I can learn a little bit about that, learn more about the company and learn about the more macro aspects of my job. And this is really, really beneficial because I'm going to need to know those things in order to, to go to the next level. You're going to need those things to go to the next level. This is not something to be taken lightly. These, if you're a line manager, the people that are directly reporting to you are the future of the company after you. They're the future of the industry after you. So you need to invest that time and invest that work into teaching them how to be good, how to be great, and how to impact the bottom line of the company. Also, don't forget, the better the people under you are, they're going to make you look way better as a manager. Because if you are working with really good people, they're just innately going to make you look better to your boss and make it easier for you to get a promotion and move up in the company as well. So don't forget that. So as a line manager, make sure that you teach your direct reports. Now the second important tip for line managers to recognize is compassion and empathy. Now my line manager does a really good job. She always remembers when she was in my position 10 years ago. Uh, this is important because as you progress to the company, you may forget what it was like at the bottom when you were working at the bottom when you're starting at the bottom. Now, a lot of people forget what it was like when they first started. And, you know, you see this a lot with professors. They, they talk over the student's head often and they forget what it was like when they were first learning the material themselves. Now they are experts and things come just naturally to them. So that's the same thing in a company as well. When you've got someone who's higher up on the totem pole that start out lower and they think these things may come naturally and they think that they may have grasped, grasped the, the concepts earlier and qu more quickly and were able to do the job better than they really were and they project that onto the person that is directly reporting to them. So as a line manager, you've got to have compassion and empathy for what your direct reports are going through. Remember the times when you were in that same position not too long ago and what it was like for you. My line manager does a really good job of sharing stories, particularly times when she messed up really bad when she was in the same position. And that does a really good job of reassuring direct reports that you know they're, they're not alone in this. Everyone starts out really bad and then eventually gets better through time and practice. You know, we're, we're not robots. We can't do things perfectly the first time. So have compassion, empathy, Really good technique there is to share stories of what it was like for you getting your first start in the industry, if we're talking about entry level or your first uh, position of that caliber. Now the third point might be the most important that I've mentioned so far. Make a difference in the lives of your direct reports. Now this can be through motivation, motivating them to do better, to perform better in their role. This can be through advice you give them, career advice or just or life advice. But understand that 
the direct reports, especially if we're talking about entry level positions, these are the future of the company. These are the future leaders of the company 10, 15 years down the line. These are the future executives of the company or in the industry that you're working in. So you really want to spend time with them, perfect their skills, uh, direct them to what they want to do and be a strong mentor and role because these are the future of your industry. If we're talking about clinical research, these are the future executives, the future CRO uh, and pharma CEOs that are leading the next frontier of medicine and health uh, in the future. So you really want to take the time to make a difference in their lives. After all, we spend most of our time at work, you know, at least at a minimum 40 hours a week. So that, that gives you a lot of credibility that you know that person on a day in and day out basis. You know, oftentimes we spend more time at work with our coworkers and such than we do with our own families. So you really wanna make sure that you're leaving a lasting impact on that person and that you're making a difference in that person's life and that they are a better employee after they uh, go on to a bigger and better position later on after they no longer are reporting to you. So in summary, t make sure you teach your direct reports, make sure you deploy compassion and empathy so that they can empathize with you, so that you can empathize with them, I'm sorry, about going through the same tough situations. And then make sure lastly that you make a difference in their lives. All right guys, if you like this video, please like it. If you have anything to add about things that great line managers do, please comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe this video. Please subscribe to this video so that you know every time that we're coming out with a video. And you can email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com for any video ideas or just want to stop by and say hi or if you want to do business together. All right, guys, take care.